12 gang members have been locked up for a combined 33 years and 8 months. The criminal enterprise which armed youths with modified guns was headed by Stanley Woods. The 21-year-old coordinated a drug dealing network spanning Southampton, Winchester, Bournemouth and Portsmouth. He and his members sold cannabis, MDMA and cocaine that had been imported from Europe. The cash they made was converted into Bitcoin in a bid to cover their tracks. When police burst into Wood's home, they seized a mobile phone revealing his associates and the scale of the network he was running. During a two-year investigation, police confiscated more than 58 kilos of cannabis and they also seized more than £38,000, £50,000 in cryptocurrency and weapons including antique firearms, knives, crossbows and machetes. The gang operated between April 2019 and November 2020. On November the 17, 2021, the police raided a series of building leading to Wood's arrest and subsequent charge. He has since been jailed for six years and eight months. Other gang members were later arrested and hauled before the courts with the final two members being put behind bars on Friday. Zach, Blake and Tyler Williams appeared at Southampton Crown Court having pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply cannabis and being concerned in the supply of Class A drugs. Williams also admitted dangerous driving after the pair were involved in a high-speed police chase through the streets of Southampton. The court was told how the pair were together in a Ford on the June the 27, 2020 when police began following it in Southampton. Taking off at speeds, the car ran red lights and overtook other vehicles whilst cannabis was hurled out the window. The pair were finally caught after being boxed in by a police patrol in a residential street. The defence of Blake, Tom Evans, told the court how his client hasn't committed any offences since he was arrested. Whilst the defence of Williams added he had come under the spell of Mr Woods and set about committing these offences. Passing sentence, the judge, Nicholas Rowland, said it was a large-scale operation sparking painstaking work by the police to bring the gang members to justice. DC Swift and his team are to be commended for the painstaking work they undertook to apprehend these defendants and reveal the extent of the offending over a million lines of data were examined. Little needs to be said about the misery caused by the supply of illegal drugs. This activity generates further crime with the interaction between criminal gangs. So guys, those who have been jailed, it's as follows. So Stanley Woods has been jailed for six years and eight months. Daniel Sivio has been jailed for six years and six months. Stacey Burton, three years and three months. Eduardo Nunes, three years. Nathan Hayes, two years and nine months. Lloyd White, two years and nine months. Tyler Williams, two years and he's also disqualified from driving for the same amount of time. Daniel Burnett, two years. Kyle Hall, two years. Robert Southwell, two years. Zach Blake, 18 months. Jade Stubbs, nine months. And there are a number of people who spared jail. Alfie Davis, Luke Stubbs, Andrew Stoner, Tracy Cornock, Nathan Burton and Marios Petru. They either got suspended sentences or community service. So guys, this is a new story coming from Southampton Ways. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked. Keep it real.